Hi guys. Okay, I'm going to do a quick, um, basically I'm just going to give you a little bit of an update. I had somebody send me a message asking me about a quick money spell that would actually help. Um, something you can do for a quick money spell, this is the thing I don't like. I do money spells and I do, I always pause. I try to make sure I'm not saying too much because some people take it and go, woo. So, okay. You can do money spells. You can do things that work really well. What I see is a lot of people using money spells and saying, I need money really quick. I need to pay my rent really quick. I lost my job. I need this. I need that. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of power and a lot of energy to make things work. If you are not doing it from the right place, it will not work. One thing that you can do is write in a quick affirmation, maybe about five, six sentences, a very powerful affirmation that speaks from the present to the future, not the past. Like I did or I was. You're going to say I do, I will. Um, you can get a green and a gold candle and one thing that you can do, and I know this sounds morbid, but you can prick your finger, melt that candle, let it melt a lot. Prick your finger, drop five drops of blood into it, lace it with cinnamon after you dress it with oil, and that is a very quick money spell. You are going to repeat the affirmation five times to your deity or to your ancestors. I cannot stress this enough that if you have not connected with any of your deities or you have no god no goddess that you've ever heard from never said anything to you you just you have nothing you're not working with anything you're trying you're trying you're butting your head against the wall it's frustrating you then you need to go to your ancestors the reason i am telling you to do this is because and i have a video uploading right now that you will actually see that is your bloodline that is your family your grandfather, your grandmother, your aunts, maybe somebody that you're really close with, if you have an item from them, put it in your spell. You're going to make your spells your spells. You, I cannot give you an exact spell that I do. I can show you what I do. I can't tell you what I do. I don't put that out there. It's not, I'm from the old cloth, I don't do that. I will give you very basic, generic ways to do things, but you, need to make your own spells. You need to make things happen. You need to write it down in your book of shadows, in your books, whatever you do, you need to do it. You, there is a, um, it's action. You need to be in a place mentally and you need to be in a place spiritually where you can call upon things and, and make things happen because it's not going to happen on its own, sweeties. Um, so let's say you write the, on the paper with the small affirmation, maybe about six sentences. If you want to shoot it over to me or any of us on Witches of Balance, then we can check it out. But you're going to repeat this over and over and over. I always say it five times, every morning, every night. Um, and I would place it, wrap, I mean, you know, fold it five times, put it under the candle. If you have something from an ancestor, place it on that plate with the candle or next to it. Um, you will see a lot of stuff from my ancestors on my altar. So you can do that. Call upon them. Ask for help. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on how you can connect with your ancestors. I had um, a request this morning. So I'm going to do that when I get home tonight. And hopefully that will help you guys out. After you, after you say that affirmation five times, you light that candle. Make sure it's a big pillar candle and in a safe place. You can even get a clear bowl, place water in the bottom. Let that candle just burn all the way to the bottom. Do not let it blow out. Don't put it in the place where air conditioning's at or air is blowing because you also want to be able to look at the wick and see how it's moving, how it's melting. Look at everything. You need to start noticing things. I'm, I'm serious. You really need to start noticing things because I have a lot of people asking me the same questions repetitively and I'm like, okay, I swear I did that in a video before, but I'm going to give you a really quick one. Um, and if you, you want to know what the blood is for, it's basically giving a piece of yourself. You're throwing, every spell is energy. You're throwing that energy out. You throw that energy out and you put enough out. That's why it's very careful. As witches, we need to be careful what we say. Like I... I don't like people looking at me and saying, I hate you. A lot of kids like to go, I hate you. You know, like just playing. It's a joke. No, it's not a joke to me. Don't say that to me. So, you know, 
think about things that you're saying because you could be very well saying things all day that are just blocking you from getting you know good things and abundance and and money and things into your life doors aren't opening because you keep speaking and thinking very negatively so switch the way you change I mean change the way you think switch your brain just choop, just click it you gotta click it <laughs> And then do your money spells and your affirmations and do them every morning. The thing of it is, is if you speak it enough and you're putting enough energy into it, sooner or later you're going to have a shift of energy in your brain. And then those things are going to happen for you. Um, that's all I got. <laughs> I mean, I do a lot of different things and I, I try my hardest to do as many videos as I can. But you guys, I work full time. I got my babies. I know they're grown, but they're still my babies. And um, I do have a life. So anyway try this add stuff to it if you have certain herbs you want patchouli oil is really good you could do a lot of things if you're short on money a pillar candle a piece of paper an affirmation and call out to your ancestors and five drops of blood that's all you need all right love you guys